Hello and welcome to Question Time. I'm Omkar Goswami. Your business has a problem, my guest has a solution. Your business doesn't have a problem, my guest also has a solution. <laughs> Meet Dr. Janmej Sinha, Chairman Asia Pacific of the Boston Consulting Group. Janmej, many thanks for being on the show. Hi, Omkar. Good to be back. Look, we have a problem. Let's start with the problem. This problem is called the Indian economy, and within the Indian economy, this yawning fiscal deficit, how much does it scare you? So, uh, it's two levels. It's, uh, our economy is not the problem. Our, the political economy is the problem. I mean, let's be quite honest. And it's very fixable. It's internal, and it's our own. But I'll say, Internal as in that we don't have uh, I mean, I don't, I don't believe that we should be thinking of ourselves like Europe and the impact yeah. of Europe we, we, on we, us. We are no Greece and we are no we, Ireland. Yes. yes, and so we are in a different space altogether. And there are two elements to this which I want to highlight. Firstly, yes, there is a serious issue about the potential we are foregoing. It is really tragic, the potential we are foregoing. Why we are not growing at 10, 11 percent is because we have chosen not to. But on the other side... You really think we could have done 10, 11? I think because, that... I mean, some, you know, somewhere down the line, there used to be these auctions for higher growth rates, right? So you seriously think... That, or is it 9 percent that we are foregoing? See, let me just... I agree with you that we are foregoing. Look, I just say that depending on what all we fix, the limits of our growth are fixed by our imagination and by the ability that we want to take some serious actions. Fair point. And, and then that, uh, you know, I find that, to be honest with you, the biggest revolution that's taking place today, the biggest revolution in, in human history, not, not just today, in human history, is not the global financial crisis, is not the Arab Springs. It is the fact that in the next nine years, the world for the first time will start to serve 2 billion consumers from the 600, 500 million people that it has served for the last 200 years. This level of consumption unlocking, no one can stop. Absolutely. No one can stop. It is going to be sustained over the next decade. Now, it's a question of what are we growing at. I think the Hindu rate of growth is now 6 to 6.5 percent. If you do nothing, you'll grow at 6 to 6.5 percent. If we start doing some things, if we are not as cynical as we want to be, if we start correcting what we are giving as subsidy and what we are not, then we can start to uh, get serious. So, uh, let, me, let, me, yeah. now, let me pull you down. Uh, I, I, I agree with you in all of this, and we could sit down and have many cups of tea or the odd whiskey and moan about why we are not getting there. But the fact is, we haven't. We have a deficit which is probably going to be at least 1% point higher than, than the budget estimate of 4.6% of GDP, maybe 56 maybe even a bit higher than that. We are seeing a lot of crowding out taking place of funds, not to make productive investments by, by taking the money, but for consumption, for government consumption purposes. So I ask you as an economist, do you see in the government some kind of feeling, some kind of resolve to fix it, given that there's only two years and a bit left for the next election? So, I am not as negative as everyone else. So I don't see policy paralysis. I feel a lot of hemming in. And I am hoping that post Uttar Pradesh, we will see action on a few things. I don't even, you know, I mean, I just feel that... Post Uttar Pradesh going well for the Congress. Yeah, I mean, if it goes, uh, uh, you know, I mean, if, if it's again completely hung, then we will be completely hung. You know, I mean, in, in the way that we are, what can we say, you know? But if, if we can start getting some action, and if we could start moving on goods and service tax, you know, uh, which everyone cynically uh, refuses to, uh, you know, move on. And if we can really start making some progress on that, it will add 1% of GDP. The NDTV news app had redefined the entire genre. Now, another market beater. It's already hit number one. NDTV Profit, India's number one finance app. Download free at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Live stream of NDTV Profit, market news, and your easy to manage portfolio. Download now, ndtvprofit.com slash apps.